it's your gal Allie, and today we are traveling to Asia by way of Chicago's Chinatown neighborhood. We've been really getting around in this neighborhood series, and honestly, what's so great about Chicago's multicultural neighborhoods is that you can really feel as if you're traveling the world without needing to get on a plane. So far in this series, we visited Hyde Park, Little Village, Andersonville, and Pilsen. But today, I'm taking you along with me as we make our way through the streets of Chinatown. In this video, I'll be sharing my picks for all the things you need to see and, of course, eat when you visit Chinatown. Plus, I'll be sharing where to get the most insta-worthy photo in the neighborhood, so definitely stick around for that. Now, before we get into my recommendations, I did just want to give you a little bit of history and some information that I think might be helpful to you before you visit Chinatown. But if you'd rather skip all of that, you can head to this timestamp right here to get right into my recommendations. And if you want even more recommendations on what to do in Chinatown and in other neighborhoods in the city, just head to the link in the description to get your hands on my Chicago neighborhood guide. I update it all the time when I come across places that I think you might like to check out. Less than two miles from the Loop and cozied up right next to Pilsen is where you'll find Chicago's Chinatown neighborhood. And get this, our Chinatown is one of the oldest and the largest in the United States. Why? Well, after fleeing racial tensions in California, many Chinese residents moved to the Midwest and settled in Chicago's South Loop. But in the 1900s, as rents began to increase, Chinese residents moved to Chinatown as it stands today and established it in 1915. From the moment you enter Chinatown, you feel like you're in a totally new world, which is perfect if you want to replicate that feeling of international travel right in your own backyard. I remember coming to this part of the city growing up and just being enthralled by the smells, the statues, and of course, the lucky waving cats. And it still holds its fascination with me to this day. To get a lay of the land and really dive deep into the neighborhood's culture and history, I would start your day off with a walking tour guided by the Chinese Cultural Institute. On the tour, you'll explore some of the neighborhood's most iconic sites, including the former Chinatown City Hall, Chinatown Gate, and Chinatown Library. One of my favorite places we visited on the tour is the Zodiac Square. Here, you'll find 12 bronze zodiac figures, each with their own list of attributes that correspond to the year in which you were born. I was born in the year of the monkey, in case you were curious. While you're here, make sure to check out the Chinese in America mural, made out of thousands of hand-painted glass from China. Now, my second favorite spot in Chinatown would be the Nine Dragon Wall. The number nine and dragons are very important in Chinese culture. But what makes this wall so special is that it's one of only three replicas outside of China. My advice would be to book a food tour with the Chinese Cultural Institute and let your belly do the traveling. Here's our hit list. Dim sum at Ming Hin Restaurant. We go. Order the creamy egg yolk buns. Mmm. I'm like, savory and sweet. Look at the inside. Next, sample the famous spicy cuisine at Lao Sichuan. Make sure to order Tony's chicken. And after that, you can cool off your palate with some boba tea from Joy Yi Restaurant. Ooh, and round out your tour with a classic Chinese pastry from Chu Quan, Chinatown's oldest bakery. Now, normally I'd recommend a place for dinner or drinks, but since we just devoured all the delicious food that Chinatown has to offer, I'd recommend ending your day right here at Ping Tom Memorial Park, where the views of the city are insane. See, I wasn't kidding about these views. And get this, the park used to be an old rail yard until it was transformed in 1998 into the perfect place to kick back and relax in Chinatown. Ooh, and uh, before you head out, make sure to snap a photo at some of the park's murals and, of course, the Chicago skyline. Thank you so much for traveling with me through Chinatown. If you want even more recommendations on what to eat, see, and do in Chicago, then you've got to check out my Chicago Neighborhood Guide. I'm going to link it in the description of this video. 
And if you want to explore even more of Chicago's multicultural neighborhoods, then you have to check out my Chicago Neighborhood series. There's an entire playlist and I'm gonna put it right here, I think. <laughs> if you wanna connect outside of YouTube, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Allie Pierce. And for even more travel videos just like this one, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you hit that bell. But until next time, friends, I'll catch you later. And uh, I'll leave you with this awesome view.